Sundays at ten, here we are again, not at church or in our groups, but still learning about Jesus the King. He's the ruler of everything. Hello and good morning. It's good to see you this Sunday morning. My name is Em, in case you don't know my name, and it's great that you've been able to join us um, for Kids Church here at St Peter's. Before we get any further, I've got so many birthdays this week that I just thought I've got to make sure, don't forget to say happy birthday to all these people who've got birthdays this week, because actually last week we did forget somebody. So um, Margot, uh, Margot Newton, you were one last week and we forgot to um, say happy birthday to you in last week's video, but fortunately we remember before your actual birthday, so you, you should have got your card. Um, but Ruben, you're turning six tomorrow, so I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Um, and then also, um, Flo is turning four on Tuesday, so happy birthday Flo for Tuesday. Uh, and then we've got two people who've got birthdays on Friday, and Clara is turning three, and then Margot Wilson, you are turning two on Friday. So happy birthday to all of you guys. Hope you have a really good day. There should be cards uh, coming to you uh, in the post. Also excitingly, we've got some photos of um, some people, uh, some of you guys are doing stuff from last week. So it's a couple of people of you playing the game. Um, and then also got some of you who managed to do the craft. Uh, and it's exciting to see that some of you have joined together to watch the um, services. So I wonder, if any of you are sitting there with some of your friends this morning. How exciting. Let me pray before we begin and then we can see what we're gonna learn about later. Dear God, thank you for all that we have learned about Jesus so far in these Sundays. And please help us to learn more about him today and love him more because of it. Amen. Now, does anybody remember what we looked at last week? Maybe have a little bit, a little scratch of your brain. Put your thinking cap on. Do you remember why we need Jesus? I'll ask you a few questions in case you uh, don't remember. What was wrong with the man in the story last week? Can you remember what was wrong with him? He had a skin disease, didn't he? Or some of you might have remembered that the skin di disease was called leprosy. And, well, what happened when Jesus touched him? Can you remember what happened when Jesus touched the man? The man became clean. Did you say that? Normally, if you were to touch someone who had a skin disease, you would become dirty. Just like if you touch someone who has dirty hands, you become dirty. But the man became clean. Jesus cleaned the man. And do you remember what our hearts are like? What did we look at last week? Remember what our hearts are like? They're dirty, or maybe you said they're bad, or that we do bad things. And what, why do we need Jesus? Can you remember the final question? Why do we need Jesus? We need Jesus to be clean. They were quite tricky questions, but I remember. I wonder if you remember. We need Jesus to be clean. We need him to clean our hearts so that we can be friends with him. And you know what we're looking at today? We're look, we're we're saying that we need Jesus, and we need a friend. We need a friend. Who is Jesus? We're about to sing a song and get up and move in. But before we do that, I've got a question for you to think through with people who you're sitting with. If you can invite one person to have lunch with you this art today at lunch, who would it be? Or maybe if you, I'll give you two people in case you want to invite, um, say, your grandma or grandpa. But if you could invite anybody in the whole entire world, who would you invite? Why don't you have a chat about that in your families and see who your favourite person would be to have for a meal. 
Okay, fantastic. I wonder who you said that you would invite for a meal. Um, we're going to see later on, and we look at as we look at the Bible, that Jesus eats a meal well, with no one's favourite person. But I don't want to spoil it for you. So we we'll get to the Bible uh, story in a bit. First of all, we're going to sing two songs. The first song we're going to sing um, is a song about Jesus. We sang it last week, and. In the song, it says, Jesus, friend of sinners, the lost and the unclean. Last week, we looked at Jesus um, making someone who is unclean clean. And this week, we're going to see that Jesus is a friend of sinners. So what a great song to sing now. If you don't know the song, join in with the actions. Jesus healed the blind man, got the cripple on his feet. He's the one the wind and waves obey. He cast out evil spirits and he brought the dead alive. And he fed 5,000 people in one day. So let the children sing, we'll go glory to Jesus. Lift your voice to him, go glory to Jesus. See the Holy Savior, he's the Lord of everything. So sing glory to Jesus the King. Jesus, friend to sinners, the lost and the unclean. He said, let the children come to me. He lived a life of fearless love and died upon the cross. Rose again with power to set them free. So let the children sing, we'll go glory to Jesus. Lift your voice to him, go glory to Jesus. See the Holy Savior, he's the Lord of everything. So sing glory to Jesus the King One day he will come to judge in majesty and power And every trembling soul will see his face And all of earth and heaven will cry worthy is the Lamb so lift his name in everlasting praise So let the children sing We'll go glory to Jesus Lift your voice to him Go glory to Jesus See the Holy Savior He's the Lord of everything So sing glory to Jesus the King So let the children sing We'll go glory to Jesus Lift your voice to him The second song uh, is He Died Upon the Cross, and this song also reminds us that when we're lost, when we need someone to help us, Jesus was our friend. Um, so let's stand and do the actions and sing loudly to this song. They laid him in the grave They laid him in 
lost He died upon the cross He died upon the cross For me, for me, for just for me down again if you haven't already sat back down again uh, and for those of you who have watched the videos um, for e each week we've had them you'll know exactly what's coming up this Sunday we are now going to hear from a family and from a leader um, about how we can pray for them and then we'll pray together with whoever we're with uh, for them hi everyone um, hi, uh... I'm Hannah and this is Mark and this is Evelyn she's our little baby who is now six weeks old uh, we'd really appreciate your prayers, guys. Um, firstly, for patience uh, as we look after her. Um, and second and most importantly, uh, that she grows up uh, to know and love Jesus as her Lord and Saviour. Thank Thanks, guys. Hello. Thank you so much for um, praying for me this morning. Uh, I'm Christina and I sometimes help with little sparks. Uh, this morning, I'd love prayer to fall in love with Jesus more not only with my head, but also my heart, and also to give thanks to God for every day that he has given me. Thank you. Isn't it great to hear from um, our friends and family at St. Peter's um, and hear how we can pray for them. So if you haven't already prayed for them, do pray for them now, uh, and then remember to pray for them during the week. Now, do you remember earlier on, I got you to discuss about um, who you'd have for lunch, your favorite person? Well, we're about to watch a video um, from the Bible passage, Matthew uh, chapter 9, verses 9 to 13. And Jesus has lunch with the, well, he wouldn't be anybody's favourite person to invite round for dinner. In fact, if you could think of your least favourite person, that would be him. But we're going to see in this story that Jesus loves him and wants to be his friend. So... Matthew was not a popular man. He did not have many friends. He had chosen to work with the enemy so he could get money for them and for himself by cheating others. Matthew was used to people not liking him. He was used to being left out. He was used to not getting invited to the party. He was used to being ignored. So imagine his surprise when Jesus, the most popular man in town, came to his table where he worked and said, follow me. Jesus knew who Matthew was. 
Jesus knew what Matthew had done. And Jesus still wanted to be his friend. Amazing! Matthew didn't need asking twice. He got up and followed Jesus. They went back to Matthew's house and had dinner. All the other tax collectors and sinners were there. It was quite a party. Every scumbag, villain and bully was there. They were so pleased that Jesus would spend time with them. But some watching were horrified. They asked, why does Jesus want to spend time with bad guys like them? Jesus explained that just like sick people know they need a doctor, bad people know they need a saviour and are ready to ask for his help. People who think they are doing a good job on their own are not ready to ask for Jesus' help. Jesus has come to save sinners. Sinners like Matthew. Sinners like me. Sinners like you. He welcomes us, forgives us and calls us his friends. We need a friend like Jesus who brings us in when our sin keeps us out. We need to be a friend like that to others and welcome others in because we love that Jesus did that for us. I hope you enjoyed that video. Do you remember what we just looked at in the video? Matthew. Well, he didn't have any friends, but it was because he was, he was mean and, and he wasn't very kind and he stole money. He cheated people. But what, Jesus, well, Jesus still went up to him, didn't he? Jesus knew who Matthew was, what Matthew had done, and he still wanted to be his friend. Matthew had been unkind, he'd cheated, he'd taken people's money. And Matthew, well, he was a sinner. And, well, Jesus wanted to spend time with him. Jesus wanted to be his friend. And then can you remember, well, the Pharisees, they were really cross. They didn't know why Jesus wanted to be friends with the bad guys. They thought. Jesus would only want to be friends with the good guys, like them. But Jesus told them that it was, it was the sick people who needed a doctor. If you're sick, you know you need a doctor. And bad people, sinners, well, they need a saviour. They know they need a saviour. People who think they're doing a good job on their own, well, they just aren't ready to ask for Jesus' help. You see, the Pharisees, just like Matthew, they're also sinners. They just didn't know they needed Jesus' help. And for us, we need a friend like Jesus. Because just like Matthew, we are sinners too. Me, I'm a sinner. And you, you're a sinner. Our hearts, we learnt last week, are dirty. And so we need Jesus to be our friend, to be our saviour. And fortunately for us, Jesus wants to be our friend. So that's the good news that we learnt today. We need a friend like Jesus, and the good news is that Jesus wants to be our friend. Okay, who has been sitting down for too long? Any of you? Maybe some of you? Who's getting a bit fidgety? Time for a game. Okay, now this game, you need to get really good at moving your face. Sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But bear with me. Okay, 
in this story, we saw different people and they responded differently to what was going on, didn't they? And so I thought that we would have an emoji for each of the ways they different res that they responded and that you had to try and be the emoji with your face. So, the first one. At the beginning, Matthew, he was really mean, wasn't he? Can you do this emoji? And mums and dads, I hope you're joining in as well. The only reason why you can't join in is if you need to take photos of everybody looking a bit funny. Now, the people who Matthew was mean to, well, they were really sad. Can you do this emoji? But what was Jesus' response? Well, he loved Matthew. Can you do this one? This one's hard. <laughs> I don't know how you'll do it, but I want to see. <laughs> And when Jesus came to Matthew, he was really excited. Matthew wanted to go with Jesus and he's excited that Jesus wanted to be his friend. So can you do this one? But not everyone was excited, were they? Can you be the Pharisees who are really cross that Jesus was friends with Matthew? And how about this final one? Jesus wants to be friends with us and so we are really happy and having a party. Can you do this one? Excellent, well done. I hope you had a good time doing that. I'm sure everybody else who was doing it with you had a great time looking at all the funny emoji faces you were doing. Now it's time to uh, pause the video and look at the questions. It might be helpful um, in your families if you find the passage in the Bible and just read through it. And if you have time, you can do a bit of acting as well. Um, the question, the link to the questions is in the video description below. Um, and the passage is Matthew 9 verses 9 to 12 if you want to find it in your Bibles. Press pause and then join us when you've finished. Fantastic, I hope you had a good time answering those questions and praying in your families. Sadly, we've come to the end of our video almost. One last thing uh, before we go there. I've got to show you what the craft is this week. So I hope you're ready um, because, well actually I think that you could probably do a better job than I've done. So here we go, here's, my, here's Jesus. And he's got really big arms because he is welcoming everybody to be his friend and well, what do we learn today? Jesus wants to be friends with sinners. And so I've written, Jesus, friend of sinners. Now, I've also written the Bible verse, but I've written it wrong. So I've written Mark 9, 9 to 13, but it's actually, the Bible passage is from Matthew. So remember that. We learn about Matthew, and the, um, the book of the Bible is Matthew as well, not Mark. So if you're going to write it on your thing, write the right thing. Uh, now you can see it's basically just a long strip of paper and then two hands. Now probably what you could do is you could draw around your own hands or get somebody else in your hand to draw around your hands. Mine are a bit big, but yours will probably be okay. And then for the head, I drew around a glass and then just added a little like, tail bit to stick it on. So really simple, you can decorate it a bit more, do some googly eyes, maybe if you have any googly eyes at home for the eyes. Um, and then this, rem this can remind you that Jesus is friend of sinners, because we need a friend like Jesus. Okay. Well, thanks guys for joining us this morning. Um, I'm going to pray and thank God for all that we've learned about Jesus this morning. Dear God, thank you so much that Jesus wants to be our friend uh, and that he came not only to be our friend, but to be our saviour. Thank you that even though we have dirty and unclean hearts and we are sinners that Jesus wants to be friends with us. Amen. Have a great day and see you next week. Bye. COVID-19.
19 children's church on your screen about jesus king of everything